What's up you guys, it's Vinny, thanks for watching another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the five essentials you need to start a home gym. And this five essentials are going to work for the person who is their first day in the gym, all the way to the person who is a professional athlete, and 100% this is very true. So, number one, and this is my, my most, most important, is going to be a good yoga mat slash um, exercise mat. Uh, they have a bunch of different ones. You can find them at Academy, Walmart, Marshalls, Ross, online on Amazon. Depending on who you are, you may want something closer to a yoga mat that is a little bit thicker uh, as far as density. That's a little bit thinner and it usually has a little bit better grip for your feet. Um, if you're somebody who has, let's say for example, your, your lower back hurts when you sit up things like that, something thick like this one, gives you a good amount of cushion when it comes to to doing things uh, on the floor, whether it's uh, doing ab exercises or stretching, things along that line. Uh, also, if you're a little bit of a taller person, yoga mats tend to be a little bit better because they tend to be a little bit longer than just normal exercise mats. Some exercise mats can be pretty short. Okay, so number two is going to be my handy dandy band. Bands are very important because you can use them for a bunch of different things. You can use them to warm up. You can use them to work out. You can use them for stretching. They're very, very versatile. So these don't have any handles on them. They're just, it's just a loop, right? So what ends up happening is you can always use this, for example, just holding on to the, to the, the holding on to the band itself, or you can attach some handles. Uh, you can find them almost anywhere and they work as great, great exercises. You can always tie them around something and use them as exercises there. Next is going to be dumbbell slash kettlebell. So the reason why I say, the reason why I say dumbbell slash kettlebell is gonna be because they feel a very, very similar function. If I were to have to choose only one, I would go kettlebell. And here's a few reasons. Kettlebells are great because you're able to do something along the lines of bicep curls, to tricep extensions, uh, and you can do kettlebell swings without actually having to hold, you know, either the, the, the head of your dumbbell, and then it's kind of hard to grab a dumbbell with both hands here, right? I mean, I don't, I don't have overly big hands, but if you're a little smaller person, that might not be an issue for you, but if you're anybody that's like, I'm like 5'8", five 5'9", five so if you're my height or bigger, that's, that's you're gonna be holding on with like three fingers, two fingers. And number four is the handy dandy exercise ball. Uh, these exercise balls can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, my favorite use for them is for ab exercises, and but that doesn't necessarily stop there. You can also use them for stability exercises, you can do bench press off of the ball, or ball press, right? And uh, it works works your obliques, works your abs, uh, your hips, everything while you're holding up. And it's, it's a great exercise tool, especially if you don't already have a bench. This can be used uh, as a substitute. Now don't, you know, you're not gonna bench 500 pounds on, on a ball, but that's not the point. The point is for stability, and then overall, it's just a, greater, a great tool. Okay, so finally, we have the plyo box. Here's the plyo box. This is the one that I made. If you, as you can see, it's a little beat up. I've used it for I've used it for about two years, and it's great. It's a 12, 14, 16. Yeah, 12, 14, 16 that I made. Most plyo boxes you can buy them for like a hundred bucks somewhere. Uh, I had some power tools laying around. I went to Home Depot, bought a sheet of plywood for like 50 bucks and made two of them and it still has some scrap pieces left over. Very, very usable. You can use them for step up, step downs. You can use it as a stopping point or a, a box, for a box squat. You can use them for, I probably wouldn't do deficits with them because it might be a little tall for that, but you can use them for a bunch of different things. And I really feel like they're, it's one of, these are the most used tools in my, in my shop when I have a power rack, barbell, a bunch of plates at the bottom, a bunch of dumbbells. Like it's, these are the things that are gonna be used the most for the most part, and you don't need much more than this. 
if you got some information, if you liked my video, if you have any of your comments, right, you can let me know in the bottom. Let me know what your favorite things are. Let me know if you use these equipments on a regular basis. If you don't, by all means, that's perfectly cool. You might have a different sport or you might have a different uh, way of training than I do. And that's perfectly fine. But leave, your, leave yours, your top five down below and let me know how you guys train. So thank you guys for watching again. You have a nice one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.